In entertainment, the coroner's inquest into the controversial death of 27-year-old musician Elirio Oladimiji Aloba Mobad reconvened at the Candid Johnson Courthouse in Ikorodu, Lagos on November 7, 2023. Mobad's death has sparked arguments from various quarters prompting the Lagos State Government to launch the inquiry. Correspondent Okoyemi Oshini was at the courthouse as she completes the story. Shortly after the announcement of appearances by all lawyers and parties in the case, Magistrate Adedayo Shotobi, who is presiding over the coroner's inquest, calls on witnesses to present their testimony. Widow of the 27-year-old deceased singer Cynthia Aloba takes the witness stand to swear an oath and share her account of events leading to the singer's death as she was subsequently cross-examined by the prosecuting counsels. The deceased wife during her testimony disclosed that Mobad had long died before he was declared dead due to constant bullying from his former record label boss Aziz Fashola, popularly known as Daramali, and the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency that arrested him in February 2022. She also narrated how her late husband was injected twice by the nurse that treated him when he was ill, while she also informed the cause that she has been going out in a face mask due to the persistent death threat she's been receiving since she lost her husband. The attorney represented the deceased wife and mother implored the public to be calm and desist from making insinuations on social media as they are confident that justice will be served in due time and circumstances surrounding the singer's death will be revealed. We believe in the professional competence and the impervious integrity of this honorable corona. There is no really need for us to start uh, making you know, insinuations on social media. The reason why we are here, the reason why we have the corona, is to investigate the cause of the death of Mobad and nothing more. And that is what we are here to do, and that is what we have been doing. We are very confident that justice will be served. We are equally very confident that in no distant time, this honorable corona will answer the question, what caused the death of Mobad? A representative of the MBA in Gurudu branch, reacting to the proceedings, says the whole essence of the corona inquest has been defeated as the court could not get a pointer to what led to the singer's death. The whole essence of the corona inquest from what happened in court today actually defeated the whole, the, the whole scenario. So it's still ongoing? Well, it's still ongoing. We cannot draw a conclusion today. Well, well, the inquest still continues and uh, the matter has been adjourned to 15th of this month. Probably when we come back, we can get more revelations that can give us uh, a pointer to what really happened before he died. The Corona Court could not take the testimony of the deceased younger brother, Adura Gimi Aloba, as a complaint of fatigue. The Corona, while assuring the deceased wife that justice will be served, adjourned the hearing to November 15, 2023. Okbayemi Owosheni, TV360 News, Lagos.